The eighth commandment is this, be careful of another's feelings. Wit, humor, or a sly remark at another's expense may hurt where it is least expected. There is nothing wrong with joking around and giving people a hard time, but you have to know who the person is and what they can handle. Joking around has to be done with balance. I think we can all understand this because we all know people who can't handle being messed with. In fact, they consider jokes as being cruel and it causes them pain, which is why we need to use good judgment when joking around with others. If they can handle it and it seems like, you know, they have a good time with it, again, then it's okay. But if they can't handle it, we need to consider their feelings and refrain from joking with them. Again, Paul's advice fits well here. Philippians 2 verse 3, Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind let each esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look out not only for his own interest, but also for the interest of others. The last thing any of us should want to do is to hurt someone or to diminish our influence with them. We need to be careful with the words that we use at all times because James tells us that our tongues can create a spark that can burn down an entire forest. So let's never forget that we will also be judged by our words. Matthew 12, verse 36. But I say to you that for every idle word men may speak, they will give an account of it in the day of judgment. For by your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. The more we think about what we say and how we say it will help us to get along with others. We must never forget that everyone is different. Some people love to joke around, while others can't stand it.